I think it's been two months since the last DVD unboxing video. Um, so it's time for a new one. The reason why it's been so long is because I feel like the camera is like two meters above me. Anyway, uh, the reason why it's taken so long is because, uh, well, I, if you watched my last video, then you know, or not, my last unboxing video, then you know that, um, I think it was my last one, it doesn't matter, but I, I, I ordered a lot of stuff, and um, I had, I've had, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to get anything new until I finished watching that. And now I have, I have like two things more, but I'm not sure if I want to watch, I've started with them, two TV shows, but I don't like them that much, so. Um, yeah, so now I have some new stuff. First, I have, this is the package here, here, and I have um, a couple other things that I'm going to show you too, that I've bought since then, uh, but that I just haven't updated. Um, but uh, this one, I couldn't pass it up, I actually, I ordered it maybe a week ago, or two, I, I don't know, something like that. Complete short, fi short films of Jan Svankmeyer. I did a review of that because there was a lot to say about it, so you can watch that if you want, if you're interested in, the, in it. Um, then I got another Swedish TV show, Hey Ya Björn, uh, two seasons, nine hours. This is from 2002 or something, and um, I've watched it multiple times before, but it was like $10 or something, so I picked it up. One, one to have it on DVD, and I, I also did rewatch all of it because it's a lot of fun, and I sort of was craving some comedy because I had only serious stuff left <laughs> out of the bunch, so I, I wanted to buy something funny. Then I was at a concert uh, with the band Hardcore Superstar. So I picked up two DVDs from that merchandise store, uh, Sweden Rock 2007 and Loud Park Festival Tokyo Japan 2006. These DVDs are not very good, I knew that when I bought them because just looking at them they are very, very cheap and um, I was pretty sure that they were only going to include, I mean it's only the, 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 um, the performance and nothing else at all. Which, you know, that's fine. I sort of knew that, as I said, but um, I just wanted to support the band and I wanted to have them for myself too because I don't think they're that easy to get elsewhere than on concerts. Um, but they're not great DVDs, but I, I'm i glad that I have them, but, you know, two good performances. Um, and then finally, Miller's Crossing with by the Coen Brothers. It's been a lot some time since I watched this, probably like a month or a month and a half or something, but um, I did like it, I thought it was a good movie, I mean I can tell it, it's very, <coughs> very well done, but um, I just, I'm not very keen on this gangster stuff, it's not my thing really, but, so maybe I'm gonna have to give it another go, but um, I didn't love it. But, you know, now to the uh, essence of this video, um, another pack from Amazon. I ordered a quite big um, order and they were divided into two packages and the one was shipped or dispatched one day later so I, I'm guessing that will be arriving tomorrow. This arrived today. But I didn't want to wait with this because I'm really craving to watch some of these stuff, or all of it, but especially some. Um, and uh, so there will be another unboxing video maybe tomorrow, or maybe when, whenever that arrives. It's not going to be very big, it's only a couple of things, but... Anyway, let's open up this thing here. Ghibli's Grave of the Fireflies anime movie, obviously. Um, I think this is going to be very good. I heard that it's very sort of sad, and um, I'm not sure if it's depressing, but you know, kind of sad. 
uh, takes place during a war, I think, and um, not anything supernatural, I don't think. Um, just drama, adventure, maybe. Looks really good. Um, and then an artificial eye release. This movie looks very interesting. Oh, so that's what's happening on the cover. I sort of had trouble seeing what the hell she was doing. But underground, well, I'm not sure what she's doing, but I can see how she's holding. And before I was just like, how is that possible? <laughs> but uh, yeah, what is his name, the director? Emir Kusturica. Kusturica. Um, this movie is from 95, I think, yeah. Hungarian movie. Is it Hungarian? Well, this movie looked very interesting. It sounds very interesting. Uh, I think it's something like there is this subterranean or underground um, weapon manufacturer place, and uh, during the war, I'm not sure if it's World War Two or um, or what, but uh, uh, they, you know. Actually, the uh, war ends, and um, I guess the guy who goes and picks up the weapons, or I don't know, but n no, one, no one tells them that the war is over. So they just keep on um, producing these weapons, and then ultimately they go up to the surface and uh, still think that the war is current. So, yeah, it looks, uh, looks very interesting. And I, I really do like this cover too. Uh, pretty long movie, 160 minutes. Um, supposed to be kind of surreal. Um, pretty dark, black comedy, I think. This one I'm just dying to watch. It's uh, season 7 of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Um, especially with this season, I'm looking forward so much to the Seinfeld reunion thing. Uh, I love seeing actors play themselves, or, or what, just people, not just actors, but that's usually the type of celebrities who play themselves. I, I don't know, I guess. Um, but, um, yeah, so especially Michael Richards and Jerry Seinfeld is going to be very fun to see here, because Julia Louis Dreyfus and Jason Alexander obviously already been, had already been in a couple episodes in previous seasons. Um, so yeah, love this show and uh, I hope they will make more because I think, um, I, I, I read somewhere that they're not out of ideas and um, the season 8 got a very well, res very good response so um, you would think that there would be, could be a season 9 so we'll, we'll see, looking forward to season 8 too, obviously haven't seen that yet. Um, and then a very interesting looking movie, Werkmeister Harmonies by Bela Tarr. He made that movie Satan Tango, which is like eight hours or something, which I really want to see, but it's eight hours. you, you got to find the right time to watch a movie like that. And um, yeah, I don't know, but this looks very good. Um, the plot sounds very interesting. and. Um, I'm not sure when it's from, 2000 maybe, um, yeah, also an artificial eye release, so it looks very good. And then a movie called Fireworks or Hanabi by Takeshi Kitano. Um, don't know much about this, just that it's supposed to be very, very good. Momentum Pictures World Cinema Collection, it says. Um, yeah, I think he stars in the movie too, Takeshi Kitano. I don't think I've seen a movie by him, to be honest. But um, So yeah, this will be the first one. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then we have something... Oh, Season 6 of How I Met Your Mother. Really nice packaging. Um, yeah, man, it's. I 
I love this show. Same uh, art there. Um, so yeah. And then the last thing and the thing I look forward to the most when I watch this tonight. Not all of it. I don't. I doubt I will finish all of it. But yeah, Big Bang Theory season four. Um, yeah, man, it's one of my favorite shows. I doubt I am the only one who thinks that, but yeah, great show. Um, I um, think that um, Kaylee Cuoco, she stated on her Twitter that there will be seven seasons, I think. I'm not sure if it's true, but she said that, and um, yeah, I hope it's true. I don't know why she would say it if it's not true, but yeah, you never know, but um, yeah, that's that. Um, so, very excited to check these things out, and um, there will be another video shortly, as I said. Um, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say. I was gonna jog now actually, but I don't want to. Um, it's like zero degrees centigrade and it's freezing. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching and um, see you next time.